Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to update the system BIOS uh, for an HP Pavilion laptop. Now, I've got a couple HP Pavilions, and uh, they both kind of have, you know, they're, one's an AMD version, one's an Intel uh, i7 version, but they update the same. Um, and there's kind of two main ways to do it. You can have uh, the HP website handle it for you and find all the things that need to be updated, or you can manually do it yourself. But let's go explore the, the website way. So first you want to log into HP's website. And you get here, hp.com, go to Support and Drivers. Once you get there, um, click on the Drivers and Support uh, link right here. It'll take you to there. Okay, now you can have, you can have it automatically find your uh, your machine, find out what version it is, um, and it'll it'll determine whether or not there is a BIOS update needed for it, um, which is really the way that I recommend doing it, because then you don't have to uh, take the risk of, of updating your, your BIOS needlessly, because um, there is, when you're in the process of updating uh, the BIOS, there is a uh, you know, possibility that something could get corrupted. So the, the less you have to mess with that, the better. But you know, if, if you go this route, you, you pick their, their automatic detection system, it's going to uh, step you right through it. It's going to you know, tell you to make sure you're connected, um, and then it's going to go download an application onto your laptop that will sniff out uh, everything you have, and then it'll come up with a list of uh, what you need to install to update it. And it'll give you the instructions on how to do it. But if you're a little bolder and you want to take a few risks, you can, instead of going uh, the route of the automated, the automated lookup route, you can type it in, you know, the name of your product in right, near, right there. So my laptop is a, a, a DV8T Pavilion. Um, type it in, do a search, it'll come up with a list of all the possibilities. Mine happens to be this one right here, the 1100 CTO. You can click on that, then you click on your operating system. I've got Windows 7, 64-bit. Then it comes down with this whole list of stuff that you can get, and looky, right there, there's one BIOS uh, upgrade that's available. And I've already downloaded it. I've got it on my desktop right here. And the BIOS file with all the instructions, everything to do it is right there. All you have to do after you've downloaded it is make sure your laptop is plugged in. You do not want to do this on batteries. You do not want your laptop to die in the middle of this. It will probably be a brick after that point. You have to either send it in and have it repaired or get a new laptop because you're basically release, erasing it and rewriting its brain at this point. So you double click that and it'll ask you if you should run. Say yes. And it says here it contains the wind flash utility and a system BIOS. Those are the two tool. Well, the, the wind flash is a tool needed to upgrade your BIOS, and the BIOS image is what's going to be upgraded. So it just gives you some instructions there. Accept the licensing, read through it if you'd like. Um, and I've already got, I've already done my update a long time ago, so all these are already on my system, so I'm not going to allow them to rewrite them on. But now I'm sitting right here. This is the tool that you run to flash, uh, to, to reflash, update your BIOS. Um, and it says down here, do not turn off your computer. This is really, really important. You know, it says like here it tells you, make sure you're running on external power. Um, close all applications in your, your system. When you, when you hit start, it's going to take care of everything for you. Just make sure you keep it plugged in. Don't reboot it, nothing. Just let it run to completion, and then you should be fine. I'm not going to do it right now because I've already updated my BIOS. I don't need to upgrade, you know, update my BIOS, so I'm not going to take the risk of updating it again. But HP automates the whole thing for you. It's the same thing for the AMD-based uh, laptops. It, it's got the tools. You know, HP's got the tools and the processes and things to, uh, to do this all for you, and you should use them. Let, let HP's process handle the update for you because they've already worked out all the problems and they have all the contingencies to take care of anything that could go wrong. And you can then, if you do have something go wrong, you can give them a call and say, hey, I tried to use your process to update my BIOS and it didn't work, help. Um, so all your, all your bases are covered. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today we talked about how to update your system BIOS in an HP Pavilion. Thanks for watching.